So the biggest challenge we see today around SSH keys um, for starters is customers don't have a process by which they have visibility into their SSH keys. So since these keys are very easily generated, whether they're using SSH keygen or they're using PuTTY, uh, they're able to kind of generate these keys on the fly. They're able to place them wherever they have access to. And, you know, this is how keys for all happens. And since, you know, there's no metadata on these keys, they don't expire. Uh, they kind of live out there in, in perpetuity until someone maybe spot checks it um, or the server is, is taken offline and decommissioned. So I think that the biggest risks when it comes to key sprawl is, is the fact that, um, you know, there is the potential for if, if an external party were to gain access to these keys, um, they would be able to move laterally throughout the environment and, and do almost in a masked way where, where you're not going to see it just, you know, via the way of the, how SSH works. Um, and you know, while that is a possibility, I, I think that the biggest kind of risk there is, is more so insider um, insiders because you know they're the ones who have access they already know where things are um, if they have access to others keys it kind of masks who's doing it uh, worse yet if they are using um, SSH and they are going in directly as as root to certain hosts uh, it, it's only going to say that root did it worse yet if, if they're very crafty they could go in and they could actually remove the logs you know removing any uh, sense or visibility that what they did happened. And, you know, one of the big risks that kind of gets tied into here is is mostly because these keys they don't actually expire. Um, they're gonna they're gonna sit out there and they're gonna live. So a, a key from an individual who who maybe hasn't worked here in let's say ten years still has their private key. They potentially could still have access. Uh, they could sell that key on on you know the dark web if they wanted to, and and they'd be able to gain access to that environment via SSH. So I think one of the big ways that we see customers starting to look at ways to mitigate, um, you know, SSH key sprawl and also that, you know, keys living um, in perpetuity out in, in environments is, you know, with SSH certificates. I think the key benefits that we really see with SSH certificates is, is very simply at a, at a very high level is that you know, they expire. Um, you can put in custom validity periods to say, you know, this key is only good for an hour, two hours, a week, three months. Um, so at the end of that, it, it's going to passively expire and, and they're gonna have to request a new certificate. So one of the big ways that SSH certificates actually help uh, reduce some of these risks and the complexities around managing SSH keys is just very simply that they expire. Um, you know, once those, that validity period is reached, they're going to have to get a new certificate in order to access it. Uh, additionally, if you build specific restrictions into the certificate, uh, there's no way for an individual to make changes to said certificate to give them more permissions or to get around maybe source restrictions. Uh, if they were to do that, they would need a new certificate and there would have to be changes in the template. Uh, so it really removes the, the, the likelihood that they're able to do that uh, just by having more permissions on that specific host. Now, in, in, instead of people just generating the keys and placing them where they need to, um, they're having to be requested. There's an active audit trail of who has access to what servers, how many of these um, requests have been made from the SSA certificate authority. And it's, it's very easy to have that visibility and, and track all this information um, in order to meet compliance around SSH. Then is the benefit of SSH certificates is, you know, because you can put in those, those policy restrictions there and, and it is, you know, much more difficult if, if possible at all to change those policies um, that adds an extra layer of, of security around SSH usage within an enterprise, but it's also reducing some of the complexity of managing um, the actual SSH estate within a company because, uh, you know, not only now are you locking in the policy of how users can use SSH within the environment, you are also um, reducing some of the complexity of tracking SSH keys and having visibility to where they are um, because when you're using SSH certificates and, and if you actually go as far as disallowing SSH keys, 
there, you're going to be able to quickly and easily provide the information necessary to say, this is how SSH is being used uh, via certificates within the enterprise.